Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be another resin review video. I've received a sample of the EasyPrint 8K resin by Xiao Jin. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And today we are going to check out this resin's properties and print quality. As most of you already know, I always test this with the action figures to check if the mechanical properties of the resins are suitable for our 3D printable action figures. This time we're going to test it with the recently released Exo Armor Space Type Mark II. And we're going to discuss all the properties and qualities of this resin that have been advertised by the manufacturer. If you enjoy this video and want to see more content of the same, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. EasyPrint 8K resin is a easy to use resin, has a low odor and there's no post UV curing needed according to the manufacturer. So I just print it and clean with 70% IPA. So we see how these prints handle. One of the advertised qualities is a clean and detailed surface. Usually with 3D prints there's often some form of residue even after washing with IPA. IPA. That is why you usually have to post UV cure your prints because this residue can feel very sticky and with post UV curing the rest of the leftover or residue printer resin is cured and dried so your prints have a smooth surface feeling. Now with this print it hasn't been UV cured and it feels dry, it doesn't feel sticky, so the first advertised property seems to be true, feels good, so that's great. Another advertised property of this resin is a high detail, looks great, there's no primer applied yet or anything, this is the pure print. I think detail is really visible, you can see all the small surface structures and it's really nice print, not much visibility of layer lines, looks good. All right then, let's remove our support structures from the parts and start to assemble the figures. By the way, just a little quality of life hack. If you want to easily remove your support structures, you can simply heat up your prints. That way your support structures are super easy to remove. You can either do this by putting your prints into hot water or if you happen to have a curing chamber that supports heating, you can just put it in there for a few minutes, heat it up to like, I don't know, 60, 70 degrees. Fortunately, I have such a curing chamber and here's one of the prints heated up and now see how easy the parts come off. There's basically no effort at all. Good thing about this is also that the leftovers, the stumps from the supports, are much less. Alright, now that all the parts are removed, we can start with the assembly. I'm gonna start with the pilot action figure first, see how it holds up. Oh, that's very tight, but it works. Printed this with a layer exposure setting of 3 seconds. Recommended by the manufacturer is between 2 and 3 seconds. So this should actually be fine, but it looks like... Okay, it looks like the material is not as flexible as I hoped. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, it's probably not suitable for action figures. This directly broke off. Okay, leg number one, unfortunately, it's a miss. Okay, leg number two, something broke off, but it holds. It's trying to get the foot in. Okay, this worked. Yeah, unfortunately it's also dusting, so not the ideal resin for action figures. The thing is our action figures, they have quite tight fit so that the joints will later hold up well over long term. That's the idea. So they don't become too loose. The tolerances are quite tight, so that means your resin ideally has to have some flexibility. Okay, most of the parts seem to assemble well. But yeah, unfortunately that first part that broke. Let's see how the rest holds up. So we're gonna attach the right thigh anyway, because our pilot is going to be in the exo armor. So that's basically like a prosthetic. So Okay. I mean works quite well. There's a bit of dusting, joints hold up except from the one leg that broke. The rest worked quite well. And it looks good. 
the resin looks great. I like those resins that are a little bit less translucent and you can see more detail directly out of the printer. So if you have a model that you want to present that you don't want to prime or paint, something to show off a detailed print, it's actually a nice thing to have when you have a good resin that is not as translucent. Okay, the assembly here works but it's, it's very tight. It probably should have chosen a lower layer exposure. I think three, three seconds may have been a bit too much with this resin. Probably two second layer exposure could have also prevented the leg from breaking. But yeah, mostly assembles well. Always be very gentle and slow. Yeah, definitely lower layer exposure with this resin. Three seconds is just too much. That means the parts have a bit more volume and I didn't test this before so this is just printing it with my default settings by chance, see if it works. And yeah, this resin definitely would go better with two, 2.5 seconds layer exposure. The hands probably won't not go in here. Oh, no, they do. The hand sockets are pretty tight. I thought this would break, but it actually, <laughs> actually went in quite well. So far, so good. All right, let's put on the hexo armor. All right, so here's our little one-legged hexo armor pilot. So, and Here's the assembled result. Unfortunately, it's probably not the ideal resin for mechanical parts or, or action figures, but it looks great. It's a good resin, prints easily, like the name says, easy, has a good resolution. It's really hard to see any layer lines at all, so the surface quality is amazing. I guess if you want to go for miniatures, or any other static models. It's definitely a good choice of resin. So in that regard, I can highly recommend it. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and see you again next time. Bye.